think on the way out now, which is great, I still sound a bit husky. Um, but yeah, tired, but feeling good. I'm looking lovely this morning. I can't even tell you how much it lifts my mood just to have a morning like this. Obviously, it's still nice when you come and it's a bit grey, but this is just unbelievable. That is so lovely. I think yesterday with having had two really late nights in a row, which is not something I usually do because I tend to kind of really look after myself. Um, I was just feeling a bit kind of on the wrong foot yesterday. I was a bit snappy and yeah, just when you're, st I don't know, I find when I'm so tired, I just get like irritated at things. And usually things means my wonderful and loving husband because let's face it, we always take it out on the people that are closest to us. So he got a bit of it yesterday, um, but he's wonderful, so it's all fine. And um, it sounds like I was a terror. I was not a terror. But anyway, I'm just, yeah, creating some space for myself this morning, just in my mindset and everything else and just taking it all in. It's just so nice. I just hope everyone is enjoying the morning as much as I am. The plan for the day is lots of work needs to get done. I've got another um, patient case history to write up, which I wanna get finished by today and then not much really, just chill out because tomorrow we've got a big photo shoot at work which we've been prepping for for ages and there's a few last props to buy and stuff. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that all goes smoothly tomorrow and then we actually have another photo shoot on the Tuesday. So yeah, busy, busy and um, just taking the time today to be slow, slow. Just had a bit of a <clears throat> eczema flare up on my neck you can see it's gone a bit red I did have a hot shower which obviously doesn't help the color but um literally the only reason that happened is because I could feel myself just getting wound up and stressed about like tiny things in my head which really really don't matter in the grand scheme of things I obviously preach so much on here but I'm still learning how to Take those moments in which I feel really calm, like this morning when I was on my walk, and just translate them into every aspect of my day. And it's going back to what Dr. Ye said about you've got to balance your emotions, like balance everything, balance, balance, balance your thinking is what he always says, which by that I think he means just try and be happy in every in everything, because he's always talking about, you know, we just have one life and it's such a cliche to say that, but it's so true and it's so short. And if you can think yourself happy and, you know, if something bad happens at work, like in the grand scheme of things, like, does it matter? No. And we all get so wound up trying to kind of achieve a lot. And I mean, like, this is something I haven't really got from him yet, which is the kind of um, somewhat polemical kind of grey area where um, ambition and the desire to succeed and build something in life and to be successful crosses over with needing to be happy all the time because obviously if you don't have any ambition and you feel like you're not doing anything in your life then you obviously won't be happy um but he's all about just finding the joy anyway and he is totally open about the fact that he used to be not like he is now whatsoever he found it very very hard to get to where he is today and he was like you know when I was young I would have done everything I would have eaten everything or drunk everything I was incredibly stressed, studying, studying to be a doctor and all this stuff, and it's only now that he just like gets it. And I, I feel, I know that I get it, but it's just putting it into practice 100% of the time. Um, so yeah, little thought for the day. I've just sat down now at my desk, which immediately makes me feel calmer. Going to do a bit of work now and then maybe have some lunch with Laura. She's obsessed with Wagamamas and anything that's like vaguely... Japanese related food, although Wagamama's isn't really Japanese, but she loves it. So we might go there for lunch, even though I've had a huge breakfast and it's already midday. Um, but there you go. And yeah, get some work done and check in later. How's the look today? She's so fed up of Vlogmas, so am I. No, I'm not, I love Vlogmas. <laughs> it's so cold. 
This is my OOTD. <laughs> Great. Just having some seaweed snacks because they're full of iodine, which is good for the thyroid. <laughs> We just went to this place in Westport called Ichiba and it's like a Japanese marketplace where they literally sell all the Japanese foods. Yeah, Laura, Laura was obsessed. I just go there to buy seaweeds. checking in it's about 6 30 in the evening now and we as you saw had lunch at wagon mama's and ate far too much I feel like apologies it's really dark and the light's so bad i feel like i'm failing as a nutritionist because all i'm doing at the moment i think that's even chocolate around my mouth i mean what is going on um i'm failing as a nutritionist because all i'm doing at the moment is eating out but december is hard especially when you have people staying as well and you want to take them out and have a nice time on tuesday night i've got my gals with a z christmas dinner um at foxlow uh which will be really lovely and i don't think it will be like particularly indulgent either so it'll just be a really nice catch up and then tomorrow again probably end up eating out in the evening Plus got a really busy day, but a really busy day for me means healthy food because I work for Sea Press. So I get amazing, 100% organic plant-based food, not for free, but we have a photo shoot tomorrow um, in which we're shooting lots of the food. So there'll be leftovers. Just writing up a case history now. It's a really interesting case history in which there's lots of kind of gut related stuff going on and liver toxicity. So right up my street. So I'm just gonna crack on with this and then, I mean, I've had so much food today, but I kind of like what I was saying yesterday, I don't just wanna go to bed having not had, lunch was pretty good. It was like a lovely broth with some veggies in there and bits and bobs, but I do wanna have a portion of my incredibly healthy vegetable soup before I go to bed tonight. Um, I'm probably gonna wait, I usually eat around 6.30 because I like to eat early but I am gonna give it another few hours because I've been kind of picking at stuff this afternoon. So yeah, I just want to make sure that tonight when I go to bed, despite having probably overeaten, I've also had some really good stuff so that my body's got all the nutrients it needs overnight to help it do its detoxification and cell repair and all of that stuff. Feeling so much better. My cold is really on its way out now. My voice is almost back to normal. Um, I can't wait to start jogging again in the morning. I've been going for my walk still consistently, but I just really can't wait to get a little bit of a sweat on. Although in this cold weather, that's not really gonna happen. And yeah, I've got some, I've got yoga on Wednesday night with Saskia. Laura leaves on Wednesday. So Wednesday evening will be yoga one-on-one, -on -one, just really stretching it out. And I haven't done yoga in so long. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I will leave this vlog here and thank you again for tuning in. It'd be great to have you back for Vlogmas over the next few days. It's nearly the end. I can't believe I've done it. Had a few days off in the middle, but it's okay. I've pretty much put up a video every day of December and I'm very proud that I've managed to do that. Please subscribe and I will check back with you here tomorrow.